What's good guys, welcome to another video and as you can see from the title of this video today we're going to be talking about the three biggest semen retention mistakes I see so many men make. After being on this journey for five years now I've made plenty of mistakes myself and I continue to see these specific mistakes being made again, again and again by so many men on this journey. So in this video I want to give you a clear perspective of what these mistakes actually are and how you can overcome them so you can truly use semen retention to your highest benefit. Fit. And before I'm even gonna get into the mistakes guys, semen retention is hands down the most powerful practice you can do as a man. Me myself, I've quit fapping altogether, right? I just completely deleted it out of my life. Since last year, I truly made that decision for myself. Next to that, I just feel so much better. I'm on a very long semen retention streak now. It became very effortless for me to do it. And man, it's just, guys, it's so powerful. I cannot even explain in words how powerful it is. And it's funny because at a certain point, especially when you're on a long term streak you forget that it's powerful because the benefits you will gain they become normal they become your normal day-to-day -day life so that's funny guys and this is something i realized before we're going to get into the mistakes the benefits you're going to get on semen retention at a certain level at a certain point they don't feel like benefits anymore because you integrated these benefits Right? So in the beginning, when you hop on this journey, you will notice benefits. You will notice more energy, more clarity, more purpose, more confidence, more, more, just a better ability to speak to other people. Um, you're going to become more attractive. But after a certain period of time, this is literally your day-to-day -day life. You cannot imagine yourself being any different anymore. You cannot imagine yourself walking around shameful and guilty and struggling with these current problems. So that's just a little observation I make, guys. On my current team retention streak, it's like you really start to integrate these benefits and they become part of who you are. Anyway, let's actually get to the point of this video, which are the semen retention mistakes I see him so many men make. So the first mistake I continue to see again and again is that men hop on semen retention. But what happens is they don't actively use and transmute the energy. And this is the biggest one. This is number one. If you don't know how to transmute your sexual energy, you can hop on semen retention all you want. But what's going to be happening, guys, is that you will start to feel sexually frustrated. You feel aggressive. You feel as if you're walking around with a, some freaking full balls, right? Feels like it's a champagne bottle that's about to pop, right? It's just a super annoying feeling. And I, I know what it's like. I've been there. I've been there, man. Like I would be on semen retention for like two weeks and I would just go nuts. I would go absolutely crazy. I was still going out. I was still going on Tinder, Snapchat. I was using my brain for the wrong things. So something crucial to understand, guys, is if you decide to hop on this journey, you really need to practice where you put your focus on, where you're going to transmute this energy into. Some amazing ways to transmute your energy is, first of all, into your passion, into your work, into your body, into your goals into your imagination your creativity into something physical like workouts but this can also be inner transmutation like meditation or seeking God right similar attention will draw you closer to God right your mind becomes calmer your mind becomes more purified over time this is something you will definitely notice but this will only happen if this is where your intention is at so this is something to truly understand guys if you hop on this journey don't expect everything to go well. You still need to do things. You still need to put yourself out there. You still need to take action. But the action you need to take becomes so much easier because you start to feel more courage within yourself. You start to feel more self-control. You start to overall feel so much better about yourself. And at a certain point, guys, you really start to integrate this new personality that just feels strong within himself. You are able to express yourself authentically after a point, guys. I can truly talk from my own experience. This is absolutely life-changing. And the reason I haven't made, I still make similar attention videos, but the reason I haven't made as many is because when it comes down to the benefits I'm experiencing and all this stuff, it's something that become normal to me. It's something that, you know, I kind of have to dig into my mind like, yeah, wait, what did I experience? Because all these things, all the benefits I'm still experiencing till this day, they become so normal that they no longer feel like benefits to me, right? I hope that makes sense, but that is actually amazing. And that is where you will eventually get to. Once you truly start to master this practice, you start to transmute your energy properly. It just starts to become a part of your daily life and it starts to become who you are. So number two, guys, and this is a huge one because this will keep you stuck in a guilty cycle. So the second mistake I see so many men make, and I thankfully overcame this quite quickly, is to not learn from your mistakes and feel guilty when you relapse. What this is going to do, guys, is that you will start to magnify this feeling of guilt. You will guilt trip yourself, 
right? If you relapse, it can happen. We all slip up. What do we expect? To do it well for the first time? It's all about not giving up and pushing forward. And you know, you fail, but it's not a real failure because if you're still on the grind, if you're still on this journey, you didn't fail. It's just part of the journey. What do you expect to just, you know, this is all going to go smooth. It's not going to happen smooth. There are going to be freaking roadblocks in between. It's part of the game. It's part of transformation. It's part of becoming a new self. You can't just give up after the first sign of failure or the first sign of hardship. You have to keep going and you have to see that it's possible. You have to see that it's truly possible to make this a lifestyle. And you just have to be willing to get back to it again and again and again and learn from your mistakes. Why did I relapse? What happened here? Why do I feel this bad, right? Don't just go back to it or don't just give up. Actually start to journal, start to go within yourself of, wait, what is happening? Why do I constantly feel these urges? Why do I relapse? Maybe because, you know, when I feel bored, you know, out of nowhere, I will grab my phone and I will just, whoa, out of nowhere, I'm on the wrong website. Or maybe anytime you get a sexual thought, you lust way too much in your mind. You give it way too much fantasy. And before you know it, like, oh, you're going crazy, right? By the way, if you're on semen retention and you still do this, and this is also a huge mistake I make myself, guys, is that when I was on semen retention back in the day, when I was like 21, 20 years old, I would be like three months in, right? But I would constantly still give all my attention to these lustful thoughts. And sure, I was still on semen retention, but it was just pure willpower because I was feeding these sexual thoughts with my energy and, you know, going deeper into it. I drove myself nuts. It, I made it so hard for myself. But really, to summarize this mistake, guys, is to learn from your mistakes, learn from your failures. And in the end, there is no failure as long as you keep going. Failure is part of the game. Failure is actually something amazing because now you get to learn from it. The problem is when you fail and you don't learn from it. That is when it's a real failure because now you are no longer progressing and growing. So the third mistake I see so many men make is that they continue to focus on the negative and they haven't yet mastered their own minds. What do I mean with this? When you're on semen retention, guys, everything you give attention to is going to be magnified. Everything you give attention to is going to have way much more power behind it. So if you still focus on the negative, if you still focus on all the lack in your life, if you still focus on, let's say, a sexual thought and you fantasize and you go too much into it, it's going to enhance itself even more. So this is why a lot of times, a lot of men, they hop on semen retention and they're like, where are the benefits? Or they can even feel worse. The reason they feel worse is because sure, now they're on semen retention, but guess what? Their mind is still at the wrong place. Their mind is still focused on all the lack in their life instead of all the abundance. So it's crucially important, guys, that you really start to master where you put your attention to. You want to redirect all your focus every single day to abundance. You want to focus on the feelings and the thoughts that expand you, that feel wow, right? It's an expensive feeling. Whenever you feel love, how do you feel? You feel open, right? You feel free. You feel right? Now, how do you feel when you feel fear and anxiety, right? It's very tense, especially here. Everything tenses up. Your awareness starts to get very narrow. You're very hyper-focused on one thing. You're not able to see reality in a broad way anymore. And this will only happen more and more when you hop on semen retention and you're unable to redirect your energy towards abundance, right? It's not just hopping on semen retention. The mind is the most powerful thing right here. So this is something you truly need to master. Learn to observe your thoughts. Do some meditation. Start to see within yourself that you are not your thoughts and your emotions. You are the one observing the thoughts and the emotions. And you have all the power to choose one thought over another. So this really takes some self-work. This takes some introspection. This takes some inner awareness, some awareness practice. I know maybe you don't want to hear this, but this is crucially important because if you hop and see more attention, but you don't change anything in here, nothing's going to change. So the fourth mistake I see so many men make on semen retention is that they think it's their ticket, their one-way ticket to freedom, their one-way ticket to liberation, their one-way ticket to out of nowhere, earning a bunch of money, attracting other women, being confident. If I just reach 30 days of semen retention, my life will be perfect. I will finally be the man I should be. That's nothing but an illusion, my brother. <laughs>
Thermal retention is only a force, an extra engine behind everything you do. As I taught you in the prior mistake, if you still focus on lag while being on this journey, you're just going to create more lag for yourself. So you want to redirect your attention to the abundance that is already within yourself and try to see the abundance. Try to practice gratitude, right? I know you've probably heard this so many times, but it's extremely powerful and actually crucial. And I recommend doing this at the start of the day when you wake up to set the intention for the day. Today, I'm going to live in gratitude and today I'm going to be focusing on all the great things happening in my life. And what you will notice over time is you start to build momentum towards the abundance side. It becomes easier and easier to tap into empowering thoughts. I know this was a lot of information guys but this information is truly crucial to help you on your semen retention journey. Yes maybe semen retention won't solve all your problems but oh boy it can change the whole trajectory of your life. It has changed mine and I'm currently doing things and I'm currently having a certain amount of mental clarity, passion, purpose. I'm a person. I never thought I could ever be a few years ago and I'm truly convinced the driving force, the main reason this is happening is because I've been practicing, I've been making semen retention a lifestyle for myself. So I constantly feel vitality, I constantly feel power within myself to take certain risks and to do certain things. I know we're kind of moving away from the mistakes here guys but these are some benefits and I know you guys love to hear the benefits of semen retention but these are some things that are going to be happening on this journey and many more beautiful things are waiting for you on this journey on semen retention guys so guys i truly hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out